there folks back at you with another video today I want to talk to uh, talk to you about my homemade air compressor uh, finally got this thing dug out of storage because um, um, a little over a year ago uh, we moved around um, this thing was too big so I stuck it in the storage for the time being finally got her dug out and um, I'm gonna get her set up here in the, in my shop now um, <clears throat> I built this thing a little over two years, two and a half years ago. Um, it's got, uh, that there is a Quincy 325. As you can tell, uh, lots of power. Um, I was at one of my, uh, favorite places. Uh, the junkyard and I saw that thing sitting on an old service truck that somebody drug in there and I asked the guy uh, what do you want for it? and he says give me a hundred bucks for that thing and it's yours so I checked the oil it was clean I spun the flywheel spun freely so I took the gamble and uh, and gave him a hundred bucks for it drug her home um, then I got me a couple uh, propane tanks and this here creates about 110 gallons of storage because with big air you need big uh, big storage if you want to have capacity so done that uh, got that all welded up and I made this so if I ever wanted to move it around I can stick my pallet jack on in there check this puppy up and move her around no problems because she's big and she's heavy so when I started out, I just slapped that uh, air compressor on there. I had a three horsepower, uh, 1750 RPM electric motor still sitting on the shelf. So I threw that on there. Um, I didn't have half the plumbing on here. So it was just the air compressor, electric motor, uh, gauge, and switch with a, uh, with a pressure valve there, and a couple ball valves, and that was it. And uh, I got about $250 in it when, uh, when I built this thing. Uh, so $100 for the air compressor. Uh, I had to buy me a 7-inch pulley because it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So uh, I bought a 7-inch pulley uh, to match that. So that way I did not go over 900 RPMs. And with the 1750 RPM electric motor, that matches up to 875 RPMs. So that's going to be a okay right there. That pulley was about 30 bucks or something like that. Uh, electric motor I still had laying around on the shelf, which is not that one. And so I have about 250 bucks in, uh, in my first big air compressor set up right here. Um... I ran it for a little while, a couple weeks, a couple weeks to maybe a month or so, and in that time, my uh, my shop was quite a bit bigger, and uh, I was running some uh, some really big uh, in, uh, one inch drive air compressors, uh, and sometimes I was running two uh, two plasma cutters, and the three horsepower uh, electric motor was really struggling to keep up with all that. So I figured it was time to upgrade. Uh, so I bought uh, an electric motor. Uh, this here is a five horsepower and it handles it just great. Five horsepower, single phase, uh, 750 RPMs. And I figured, well, while I'm spending money on this, uh, I also put a drying system on there. Still have me an old uh, oil cooler laying around. so. I built me this belt guard so I could bolt this on there um, and then the air comes in through here air comes out right there and then I got me two drain tubes so you can tell it goes up and over and down and then on the end of the day I would just turn those valves open and let the air drain out got me a couple big uh, air, air filters here this here's a water separator that's there that one there is for incandescent so I can get the last little bit of water out 
uh, that was probably about another 120 bucks um, and then some extra plumbing and fittings so now with this setup as it sits um, I've got $770 in it somewhere in there and it's it's big I mean this thing is 8 uh, CFM to 18 CFM uh, and then if you compare that to um, I'll show you here and if you compare that to the cobalt that I got now it's just a little 20 gallon one that is four now listen how loud this thing is <laughs> Now listen to this thing, it's just unbelievable how quiet it is. This thing is awesome. It's got lots of power. So now with this setup, if I would just run a, a blowgun, um, and I would squeeze the trigger on the blowgun, this thing would shut off half the time because it can keep up with it. That's, that's how big this thing is. And, um, yeah. So basically what I want to show you is that with a little bit of creativity and a little bit of searching, uh, you can have big air for little money. And that's what this is. And I think for $770, for what this thing is and for the capacity it has and the mobility, the ease of mobility, if you ever have to move it, uh, I think it was well worth spending the money on it uh, with uh, the whole drying and stuff like that because I can do that real simple. You do not close that valve right there so none of your air runs out of your tank. Oh, see? Then you drain the water on the end of the day. Close the valves again. Open this one. You're back in business. All right, folks. Please like and subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Helps the channel out a lot. And uh, we're going to catch you on the next one. Peace out.